Welcome back to a PHP right? system development. Um, previously, we, thought we looked into creating and configuring uh, the login and registration page. And this time around, we'll be looking at customizing those pages. But before we do that, let's take a look at some basic tools we'll be using. And um, we'll be using the menu configuration and the page design component. Now, with the menu configuration, it tells us uh, it displays the default menus we have in there, a home and user. Now, the menu are generated randomly based on your database tables. Um, by default, we always need a home page, but the user table was generated for us based on our table. Now, you can customize this. We have a home. Uh, over here, we have the path, which is a home. Once you open your URL, your website, or your system, it leads. This is the page that will be loaded first. And then what we want to display a home. Okay, the target self. Now, for target, it specifies if you want the page, the menu, when you click on it, to load on the same page or open a new tab on your browser. And um, a menu icon specifies what icon will be displayed by the side of your menu. So let's go ahead and set that for uh, users. So once a user a user is clicked, it goes to um, the user menu. We'll have to use the user list. Then we'll go to we'll choose an icon for it, user icons, and we okay that. Now this is configuring your menu. You can add as many as menus you want to add. You can add sub menus as many you're not limited. Okay. But we don't need all those menus. So we're taking them off. We only need our user and home. Now we can configure what position the menu should be displayed. Top, top left, left, or static top. Now static top means the menu should not be scrollable. So we leave it as there. You just click OK. Now we'll be using um, the page design component. Now remember. Uh, on our login page we created, we had a background image and we also had um, some text on it, but we don't want those text to be displayed. So therefore, we take those text out. Now, these are, cost, these are um, uh, tools, these are views we can be using to um, make our website look nice. You can add a pie chart, you can add a bar chart, a line uh, chart. A Polaria chart, a donut chart, a reader chart. You can also customize your view to whatever you need, whatever you want to display. Probably all these views here might not suit you. You can use a custom view to customize how you want your um, um, page to be uh, displayed. And also, you can add a sub page on a page. Assuming we have another page called, um, uh, let's say, request page whereby a request coming into your system is being displayed and you want to list users under the request page you can just drag this and drop it there and that's it just drag this like this and you drop it here sorry <coughs> sorry i guess you have to expand then you specify what kind of view you want to drop there now we want the users to be listed on this section and this is uh, the home page actually up here we have the dashboard this is where you can add your custom code over here we have the dashboard written here but we don't really need this but let's leave it for now in that area we can customize how it should look and this should list remember we said this should list all users on the dashboard that is what we've done here now our main focus is the registration page and the login page so let's go to uh pages user list Oh, sorry, I guess why it's not coming up is because I didn't save my previous um, my previous um, tutorial I did, so I'll have to publish it so the index page will come up. Give me a minute. Okay, I've published the site, so let's go back to configuring it. Now, once you come to page um, design component, you notice the index page is now out. You select on the index page. Now, looking at this, a login page you notice we have a text over here and um, the login panel is shifted to the right and a background image now we have to customize all this and bring this 
login panel to the center and then get rid of all these things how do we do that if you look here you're having a custom view over here now this custom views contain all those information you've seen over there now the thing we have to do is just open it up and then customize the code we have to tweak it a bit and get rid of all the information we don't need now we don't need all this if you notice this is a welcome to the site name and the two buttons that were displayed so we just have to get rid of all this and then we click on ok now after doing that um, remember this is the, the content width now we have the, the items the text on our left and the panel on our right now what we want to do is um, after taking getting rid of those text from our code editor you notice the text will disappear but this panel will still remain on this other side so what do we do we have to get rid of the invisible panel that we left here and move this one to the center and we can do that by dragging this custom view onto this other uh, container and then getting rid of that empty container now you've noticed uh, you by the time we run this code you notice that that view has gone let me just okay this and then reload changes you notice that now but we want to position this at the center now what we have to do is um, go to our custom view sorry our page here and then we'll add this will tell the system to position our tab on the center you see that let's see it's not properly positioned okay let's see cool offset 3 reload nothing okay I think we we'll have to increase this one by six yes so it will be distributed evenly sorry about that reload changes and then we have it now on the center of the page now when you go to the register page you notice it's still on the left side so we we'll just have to apply the same thing to it and bring it to the center of the page now that is on the user register with this we we'll just have to add the same thing here okay then when you reload changes and go to your register page you've noticed it's now on the center of the page that's basically how to configure this now if we log in if we log in here you notice i drag and drop the user list on our dashboard so let's see if that item appeared you see here it is now we have the list we have user um, details being listed here which is a page on its own we can also make this to appear as <coughs> a model by customizing it we'll go to user list sorry home page you go to the list now you can customize display how you want it to display now this is display as displaying as default the way to display on its own page but by the time we choose a custom view <coughs> it's giving you an information on how uh, a default code for you to customize how you want it to appear but i won't be using this i want to be using the different a different view for it so that will be under uh, a custom model you can also choose to display it as a model and then you set your button now between lg means we should display large button and then primary means we should use uh, the primary color of the thing but i'm going to be using the default color instead and then the button title should be user list just okay this to save it now when you run this page when you reload this page sorry after reloading changes you notice all the information are gone and you have a button you click on the button you see a model popping up displaying the user list on the model that is it and i will close this 
now we can also set our team this is the default team which is blue let's say we have we need to change we need to use a different team we can always change that from here these are the list of teams you have i think over over 20 of them you just scroll down to change teams whichever one you think you like you set the team there you ok it and you reload changes you see it's changed um, these are routing issue i think it's coming from a menu configuration yes that's it so this we just have to get rid of this index okay and um, preview and that's it so that's all for today thank you for watching and um, watch out for my next video